Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to World of Braiding and Extensions. My name is Joy Fido and I've got something interesting for you to see today. Welcome on board. Okay, so last time we showed you a video where we were comparing wigs and weaves. Now we want to show you what could possibly go wrong with wigs because it's it's okay for me to tell you is the best thing to try give it a go and see what you think about it but there are instances where it could go wrong as well so we call it the problems with wigs and you know we talked about the weaves where we said once you've used it that's it is done and when you take it out you throw it away you don't keep it anymore it's very rare for you to reuse it now the beauty of wigs is you can just get it shampooed and conditioned and treated and you reuse it over and over for up to two years depending on good care now this is where it could go wrong there are people out there who think they know hair because they've got the hair oh i bought myself this really amazing wig it cost me 500 pounds cost me 200 pounds depending on how much cost me two thousand pounds two thousand dollars and then i know what to do now this is where i will advise you to please please if you can liaise with the person you bought this unit from or this wig from and find out if they could maintain it for you because i've had people bring their wigs here for me to care for and sometimes the hair type that they call it's really really bad hair and the minute water touches it, it just turns into a ball. It gets all tangled and you cannot even deal with it. And instances like that, I just wonder what will this person have done if it was them that had to deal with it. So just like the natural hair as well, the natural Afro hair, it makes me laugh when I see people who suddenly oh yeah i'm wearing teeny weeny afro and then um i've gone all natural now i know what i'm doing and then what happens they start to struggle i always say to people if you have your hair salon if you have people who actually went to study hair or hairdressing and natural hair care and all of that why do you think they're in business they're in business to care for your hair so it is not for you to say, okay, now I've cut my hair, I've got this teeny weeny afro, let me deal with it. I've had clients who tried it and they always come back with their hair completely ruined and damaged. So the same thing with wigs. If you've got your wig, find someone who can care for it. Because there are, it's not everything that we're all good at. I'm, I'm, I mean, there are so many things I'm not good at. I know that. But the things I'm good at, I will put my hands up and say I'm good at that thing and is there's an example one of my friends she is an amazing woman but when it comes to hair she comes to me hair and makeup she says joy you deal with it I'm not ready to deal with this I have enough on my plate and that's how it should be people should and this is how we can make money as well in life if we do the call it division of labor you do what you're good at you do what you're good at I do what I'm good at life goes on you know in olden days they had what they called trade by butter so i give you this and you give me that that's how it still is the only difference is we're exchanging our skills with money so if you can make cake and my children have birthdays i come to you and say please can you make cake for me and then we get that cake for my daughter's birthday and then you want your hair done you come to me and i do your hair you want your wig taken care of you come to me i take care of it that's how it should be but when people think they know what they're doing and they really don't bad things happen so i'll show you what could possibly go wrong with your wigs okay so this is a homemade wig which i'll show you why we call it homemade because this is the wig base which is regular wig base i will show you when we create the wig here as well how that happens and then this is um, a frontal, so it's a frontal um, wig, frontal wig. But look at what could go wrong. 
so you will say this and you think oh yeah it's normal head of hair really nice okay no problem but look at that look at what's happened all the hair here has disappeared see that so all that hair has thinned out so think of someone who's having hair loss and think what's going on here all the hairline the frontal has lost all its hair and things like this will happen when people overuse their hair over brushing see that hair completely going bald so if you'd given this hair to someone who could care for it properly this would not happen okay so this is another nice wig you look at it you go yeah no more hair again is a homemade wig so you can tell when you see the wig cap and this is a closure closure hair so this is closure closure is when it's just a little patch that gives you like a center part inside but you know sometimes you get the three parting or just one parting or sometimes they don't even have any parting at all so this is a closure but look at what could possibly go wrong so practically the whole closure is looking like it's all become bald and that again happens from bad treatment so this person was just over brushing this hair no care for the brushing so this is probably again it's something i have to think about how to guide people on how they brush their hair because what tends to happen um when the hair is really really long like that clients struggle to see how to brush this hair when it gets tangled so what we then did with this particular client was we we tried to create another pattern somewhere else so that this part is completely hidden away but you could tell when this person wears this hair that this side looks really thin so how am i not how is it possible that this will not show when i wear my hair like that so that's what's possibly going to happen but again you know we've said hair most times will have at least two years life so this hair has really lasted so i must give it to the hair that it really lasted now one of the other thing i was going to also say depending on the wig you buy which is where i was saying it would be nice for you to know what you're buying now with hair like this it is very easy for me because the thing with hair is hair doesn't hair doesn't destroy it doesn't it doesn't damage in the sense of the strands of hair goes bad a strand of hair that's it that's it it stays for as long as nothing goes wrong with hair itself it could get matted it could get um it could thin but the strands do not go wrong like uh, maybe it's gone all messy and then it's, it's starting to uh, break or whatever that doesn't happen hair is hair so with this client what we can do is just take out this closure take out this closure and replace it with another closure we can do that and suddenly she will have all her hair back so that's the one thing i would advise you depending on the type of wig you're buying so if you were thinking what type should i buy the one with the closures are usually the easiest one to fix okay so this one is not a homemade wig is a factory made wig you can see that this is a full lace wig full lace wig because everything here is lace base lace full lace wigs are the most expensive ones you will get out there and look at what's happening here so this opening is getting wider and wider and wider and this is my hair i wear it but it wasn't with me originally it was my daughter that was wearing it and again we have this issue with taking care of hair so she in particular struggles to take care of hair and this happened so 
Now the problem with lace front, I mean full lace wigs is, once it starts to happen, there's nothing you can do anymore. Because the way these hairs are created is, they insert a really tiny needle into the wigs, I mean into the, into the holes of the lace, and then knot it at the back. It's a very complicated um, process. That if you are not a professional wig maker, you cannot create a full lace wig. That's why they're so expensive because they take weeks and weeks to do. So once this happens, that's it. Your wig is done. It's gone and then you can say, I've had enough of it and I'm going to throw it away. So this is what could happen. And so if you don't know how to care for your hair, this is what's going to happen. And no matter how much money you invested in that unit, it's gone. So you remember we talked about the uh, frontal. Frontal, just like the closure, can also be taken out and replaced. So it's up to you if you want to take, if you now want to take on that role of taking out the frontal and replacing it with a new frontal. Once you do that, you get your hair back because the back is still very healthy. But with the full lace, once anything goes wrong, there's nothing you can do about them. There's nothing you can do about them. Same thing with the uh, 360 degrees because the 360 degrees again, the 360 is made of lace. So once that goes wrong as well, just like the front toe, you could replace the 360, but it's one of those roles that you really want to ask yourself, do I really want to, want to take that on? So that's why the closure to me is one of the best ones to go for. Because closure is very easy to take out and replace. Okay, so we're going to stop here on that. Um, we hope we've been able to educate you on what's going on with wigs. Um, We've we'll shared our knowledge with you, we'll share that information with you, and we're gonna be showing you skills into this, um, into the homemade wig at some stage um, in our videos. So we hope um, you liked it. If you do, please thumbs up for us and share with your friends. Because the thing is, wigs have really, really come a long way. You know, wigs, wigs started with the, you know, ancient Egyptians, Queen, Queen Nefertiti, and all the um, king's household, the, the royal family then, and it was such a big thing for them to wear wigs that was different from their hair because the peasants were the ones who were supposed to match around with their hair. And then the history went on to say how when they started the legal services were well, legal you know, laws, then they had to put on wigs to show superiority. So, Wigs been there forever. It's nothing new at all. People think, oh yeah, everybody's wearing wigs now. Wigs has been there. So it's about how you look at it and it's about how you understand what's going on with wigs. It's about how you can be creative with it and appreciate it in the way it is. For me, it's not something to be shy about or, or feel uncomfortable about. You know, you can get the texture that matches what you are looking for. I mean, there are Afro wigs, there are, uh, you know, Afro kinky wigs, then there are the straight ones, there are the wavy ones, there are the curly ones. So there are all types of textures to match what you're looking for. So anyway, um, our business right now, we're going to really, really bring out all we know about wigs and encourage you to start giving yourself that image you're looking for and not be hiding away from yourself because lots of people struggle with their image and wigs deals with this it's it's one of those things that you can get the answer you want in an instant so we look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you so much for watching